Let's get this wig together. <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, this video is just going to be a nice clothing haul and also I will talk about some of the essential things that I need in my closet for winter. I will not survive if I do not have these things. So just stay tuned and we'll get right into the video. I got five sweaters for one dollar each at a consignment shop. I am not lying to you guys. Every sweater that I got that I will show you today, they were a dollar. I am not afraid of consignment shops and Goodwills. Like most of the time when I am going shopping, those are the very first places that I go. And this first sweater was like my favorite one. When I saw it, I had to have it. But here it is. It's like a pinky nude color. Go put it up closer to the camera. You see, it got like sparkles going on with it. It's really, really pretty. Yes. Like I said before, a dollar. And this is one of the sweaters that had, still had the original tag on it. And I think this one was priced at like $44. This also had the tag still on it. Um, I don't know the brand, but here it is. Stripes. <laughs> but yeah, I really like this sweater. It's really loose fitting, kind of sort of, a little bit, not really, but it's not completely like tight. It's tight enough, but loose enough as well. It's kind of airy, like you can see through it. So you can, you know, layer it over something else and you won't be too hot or wear it just like it is. Okay, next sweater is Abercrombie and Fitch. Okay, hot pink, one of my favorite colors. I love this sweater because of the color, just because of the color. Like I saw it sticking out on the rack and I just grabbed it and it ended up being a lot prettier than um, I expected. I can tell that it was warm slightly but it doesn't bother me like I me mean, like I said before none of these sweaters have any holes or snags or anything in it at all like they're perfect and I got all of them for a dollar so you're not gonna hear me complain anyway <laughs> but yeah I really like this I really feel like everybody in the wearing should have like a pop of color or some type of sweater that's really bright just make it stick out with all those you know neutrals and dull colors for the winners that they most of the time put out for you to buy. And I'm pretty sure Loft is one of those more expensive uh, brands, I think. I mean, I don't know, I don't shop at Loft. Most of the places that I shop at is like Forever 21, Route 21, Wet Seal, like, that's typically where I go other than a consignment shop. The only reason why I know about Loft is because I've seen it at a consignment shop multiple times. So my assumption is that it might be, you know, more on the expensive side, which is why I haven't been here. I should go look it up, but whatever. But then, yeah, this sweater is from Loft. It's just a plain black sweater. It does have like these sparkly bits in it. I don't know if you can tell. Yeah, you can see it. It kind of, I don't know. It's like silver sparkles all throughout the sweater. I don't know, but it's a really, really pretty sweater. It's very cozy. I wore this one already. I think I wore this for the first day of class. And um, yeah, I like it a lot. Um, okay, this blue color. I think blue is my signature color. That's what I'm starting to think. Yeah, I like it, I like it. But yeah, this blue sweater, this is also from Law. And um, yeah, I like it. It's a small, most of my sweaters are medium, but everything fit perfectly. So yeah, it, this sweater is more of that airy sweater because you can see through it like, you see, I don't know if you can see that, but yeah, you can't tell. But yeah, it's a really airy sweater. Like the knitting is far, far, further apart. So it's, it allows air and it's breathable basically because you know sometimes sweaters can get very hot and make you very uncomfortable that's usually what the problem is with sweat with sweaters it's not that they're not cute it's just you get hot in them okay then this last sweater 
This is, I think, my absolute favorite sweater, like absolute favorite. And this is because it's really, 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 really deep room, like really. And I did wear this two days ago, two days ago to class. But yeah, I wore this two days ago to class. It's one of those longer sweaters, so it go, it goes past my waist, of course. Well, my hips, but it's like it goes past my hips, but right at like right above my knee. So I guess you could wear this as a, a, a dress. I don't know. I mean, I don't. I wouldn't do it because it's really, really see through. It'll take a lot for you to find something to match with this, to wear as a dress, but I know some girls would do it. I'm not that risky. I put pop some leggings on up under here and I just wore some uh regular uh what they tan boots. It's closer to the color, the lighter color right here. I wore some boots that matched that color and some black leggings and I went on about my day. I kept getting compliments on the sweater all day long. Um yeah. People didn't believe me when I said I got it for a dollar, but I definitely did get it for a dollar. And I think this where I also had a tag on it. I think it was like $38 regular, a regular price, but a few items are items that I have in my closet as far as bottoms or jeans. And um, these are items that I don't know what I would do without them at this point. So yeah. <laughs> but yeah, this first item is just some overalls, long. The knee part cut out, as you can see. Well, kind of, sort of, but not really. And then, you know, it has the regular straps on it. And believe it or not, at first, I don't know. Like, I wanted them. I thought they were cute. But I literally did not find anything. When I say anything to wear with them, like, nothing. Like, I, they just sat in my closet for a couple of months, actually. I got them from Target, actually, for, uh... Was it Black Friday? I don't know. I just know I've had them for a while and they just sat in my closet because I never could find anything to wear with them until I got those sweaters. Like literally any of those sweaters that I showed you, I could match it up with these overalls, just put on some shoes and everyone who sees me will be like, oh, you look pretty. Oh, I really like that outfit. Oh my God. I didn't know that she had overalls. You look so good in overalls. Oh. Thank you, girl. Because I didn't think I could do it either. But yeah, but um, yeah, when I got those sweaters, that's when I really started to explore with these overalls. I do have another pair of overalls. They're like shorts. They're really summery. Well, they are summer. Like they're like booty shorts, basically, um, overalls. And I wear those, but it's easy to find anything to wear with that in the summer. It's just these. It was kind of difficult for me. But now that I've explored with them, I definitely know what to wear. And I don't know what I would do without these overalls. Because they pretty much match with any of those sweaters. So if I just want to pull out the overalls and grab a sweater, I'm good. Then go outfit. Okay. And then... <sighs> Good old leggings. Yeah. I think I have about three. Sorry about the plane. You know why all the noise want to start happening while I'm recording a video? It was literally silent as hell on campus. And then all of a sudden, everybody want to be outside, honking their horn. Planes want to go by. And we want to be at an airport near. Anyways, back to my video. I think I have about three pairs of these black leggings just in particular and then I know I have like two pairs of gray and I think that's really it it's just, I usually just tend to buy black or gray leggings and I always buy multiple of them when I do buy them and that's because I get them from Forever 21 when they're like the 390 a piece whatever that sale is I always get them then I don't ever buy them any other time because they're kind of overpriced to be just strap, scraps of material, basically. But yeah, but I love Forever 21 leggings. They're so cozy. I love leggings in general. Like, if I find them, I'm more than likely to pick them up just because, like, usually, this is what I'll have on. I won't even put on jeans no more. Like, I really dread putting on jeans because of the invention or this being, being so trendy. Like, I would rather not wear jeans. I wear them on occasion, but I will most, more than likely put on some leggings and go about my day with whatever else top and that'll be it 
But yeah, I don't, I absolutely know that I have to get some more. Some of these have like holes in them. I don't think these do, but some of them have holes in them. So I definitely need to get some more. And I think they're having to sell uh, at Forever 21. So I will definitely be going to get some more. And I encourage everyone to get some. Okay. And then also from Forever 21, I don't know. I don't know. Because I don't want to just take their jeans. Because some of their jeans are like $20. But wherever the jeans are, the ones in Forever 21 that are like um, $7 or something like that, it's usually a table and they have like $7.90 or $8, something like that. That's a price around that range. And it's a table full of these jeans. Uh, they look just like this. They're just plain jeans. They don't have nothing special. And I honest, this did not come, like I had to cut the knee out. I was experimenting and it actually came out cute. So these ended up being my favorite pair, but I have this color, which is like a medium blue color jean, like a regular blue jean color, I guess. And then I also have a um, black pair, like a dark blue jean color as well. And um, I have some pattern ones, maybe, oh, gray. Yeah, I have gray, and the gray ones are also, I cut them, cut the knee out on the gray ones as well. And I think that's it. So I guess I got like four or five pairs of these jeans in different colors, of course. But yeah, I love these jeans. It, at first, I was really skeptical about them because I was like, they're only $7. They're probably gonna rip after three, three wears, and then it's gonna be a big hole somewhere where I don't want it to be, and then I'm gonna be mad. But actually, these pants last forever like none of them have holes in them none of them are ripped not, nothing the only thing is that my black ones faded so i had to get some new black ones but other than that these jeans last for seven dollars and i absolutely love them i don't know what i would do without these ones in particular because usually these are the ones that i pick up first to see what i can. last two things are shoes that i absolutely wear either every day or every other day like i alternate in between because they're cozy they're cute and i just love these shoes like i i can't express how much i love these shoes like they're amazing but yeah let's go ahead and get into it okay so we have uh -oh. Oh, okay we have this brown pair and then this black. These are the two shoes that I usually wear every single day or every other day. I do have other like black shoes. Like I do have another black boot and then I do have another tan boot, but they don't have any heels on it. They're not booties, they're just regular boots. But most of the time I end up picking up these. I just got this shoe from uh, Charlotte Roos. Yeah, this was a Charlotte Roos shoe. And I went on a Tuesday to the mall on a Tuesday. Maybe Tuesdays are just good days. You might want to go on a Tuesdays. I, I will tell you later. But I went on a Tuesday just looking to go get some more shoes. I knew I needed like a few more pairs of shoes. And I wanted to go try the roots because they tend to have really good shoes and they're cozy most of the time. So I was like, okay, I'm going to keep trying with my luck with these shoes at Charlotte Roots because they, you know, they just have a good quality of shoes in there and they were having a sale this the shoes were uh this was originally like 30 something like normally this shoes are like 35 dollars or 38 dollars somewhere around there but i got these shoes for 10 dollars they were on the rack for 10 dollars yeah thought i was gonna walk out of the store with them, without them hmm. but yeah and then they ended up being absolutely amazing they're really really cute like they just set my outfit off and i think what really really makes me love them the most is because of this little tassel thing while back here i think yes this is so cute like i love this shoe but yeah it's a uh, it's a really really cute shoe and then this shoe this shoe is older i got it from charlotte Rose as well i think i got this like a year ago or over a year ago 
maybe it was a year ago. I think it was about a year ago, somewhere around there. I got this shoe um, from Charlotte Roos. It wasn't on sale, I don't think, but I don't, I don't think that it was as, as expensive as the other shoes would be, like 38 I don't think it was that price. I think it was like priced at $24. I was debating on getting booties from Charlotte Roos or from Payless. And then I ended up seeing this shoe and another shoe at Payless, and they were the same price. And I ended up liking this shoe better. So I just went ahead and got this shoe from Charlotte Roos. I literally cannot express how cozy these shoes are. Like, I mean, yeah, after a while of walking around on campus all day, I do like my feet kind of hurt a little bit. But for the most part, I can last all day long walking around in these shoes. I've walked up and down my campus in these shoes, and I, I'm fine. Like, and I don't even like heels. I don't wear heels really. Like, I avoid having to wear heels. So for me to say that these shoes are cozy, they're cozy. Like I can't, I, I just don't understand like how do they do it. Like it's really cushioned in the inside. I don't know who made this shoe and why was it so cheap. But yeah, I'm glad I looked up on it because this shoe is awesome. Why I say that Tuesdays are lucky days for me personally is because every time I went to the mall looking to shop on a Tuesday, I always come out with a deal some kind of way. Like, it doesn't, it never fails me. If I go on a Tuesday, I'm going to catch a deal. I know I am. Like, it's almost, I go in every time thinking, okay, well, I'm, I know generally like how much I'm gonna spend. I know how much it's priced at. And if I go on a Tuesday, it's never that price. It's always a lot cheaper. Thank you so much for watching my video. And I'll see all of you guys later. Thank you.